Hi, everybody. I'm really hoping I'm next. My name is Emmy Kalawale. I'm the editor in residence at the D School at Stanford University. Thank you, Justin. Um, <laughs> I came from the Washington Post. I'm currently taking a year off uh, from there where I was the founding editor of innovations. And everybody keep calm because I'm going to do the wait what part. I am doing a talk on fear and I am quite frankly terrified. I had no time to prepare this. I didn't make the slides. So we're going to see how it goes. Welcome home. I am from Washington, D.C. This is where I live. I have lived here for well over eight to ten years, depending on how you want to count it, went to college. This is work. I worked at the Washington Post. The Washington Post was my home. It was where I did all of the wonderful things that I love to do, which was writing, producing, basically just getting my thoughts out. I had a home there in terms of being able to get a corner of one of the most prestigious publications in the world, and I wouldn't replace it for anything. Then I met Willy Wonka. It's such a shame the fonts don't work on these slides. That's okay. That's Justin Farrell. If you don't know Justin, he is the director of fellowships at the D School, and he gave me a golden ticket to go to California California and to basically figure out what design thinking is. And this is Wonderland. Um, this is where I live and work now. This is the D School. Um, it is a magical place full of red couches and whiteboards and so, so much more. If you've ever been there, um, there's a lot more to it than what you see. Um, trust me, I know. Okay, who does that? Who goes all the way across the country, gives up a home, gives up a life, gives up a dream career? I mean, I was an editor at the Post before I was 30. Who leaves that? I do. Um, you would too if you had the opportunity and you met this amazing guy. Um, it was probably the best decision I ever made. It also helps when you go to paradise. Um, <laughs> anybody seen a rainbow on Stanford campus? I've seen one twice. That's two times more than I've seen in Washington, D.C. Um, so this place, you, draw, you ride up. You don't drive up. You ride up every day on your bicycle, which I eventually learned to do. Design thinking in 15 seconds. How many of you are familiar with design thinking? Go, 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 go. Yes. You start with your user. Empathize. You then define your problem. Then you brainstorm around that problem, you prototype it, and then you test it. You prototype it as cheaply as possible, by the way, because a $3 million prototype gets you nowhere. So how journalists learn design thinking, they critique everything. I know because I did. They mock the pipe cleaners and the duct tape. I know because I did. And they wash, rinse, and repeat for three months. I know because I did. And then we're waiting and we're waiting because we're watching, and we freak out because you realize that this field needs design thinking more than just about anything else, and you have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> I really haven't for the last nine months, um, but now I'm in month 10, so clearly I do. Um, this journalism really needs this stuff. Um, I, I've just had my life changed. But in having my life changed, I also realized that fear is a very real thing. It is something that you have to contend with, it is something that you have to deal with, and it is a very large driver in our day-to-day -day lives. I made my assignments, I did my work on fear. So, without further ado, here are three lessons on mastering fear from a newly minted design thinker. I don't think that quite made it, but that's okay. So, I'm newly minted. I've only been doing this for 10 months, so bear with me. I also didn't really prepare, as I mentioned, so I'm freaking out a little bit. Fear, yay. Here's my champion. This is rule number one. Find a champion. Find somebody who's going to stand up for you. Find somebody who's learning how to stand up for themselves. This woman is named Ann Gibbon. She's a fellow at the D School. She recently graduated. This is her first year as a civilian after 14 years serving in the military. She graduated from the Naval Academy. She's a big fan of pink pants. So I would say that if you do find your champion, the disclaimer is your champion should come with 14 years of military experience and a healthy collection of jewel tone pants. I live with Ann Gibbon. She is my roommate. She works out with me. It is the reason I lost 10 pounds. It is why I look so fabulous today. <laughs> Take it all out on a whiteboard. This is rule number two. Figure it out. Figure all of it out. Go to a whiteboard. Make mistakes. Whiteboards are easily erased. They are easily changed. Just go about it. Do it. It doesn't matter. Go to places where you realize that failure is not only an option, it's an inevitability. And when it comes to whiteboards, it is inevitable for me. This is a photo of a massive drawing that I did while I was at the D school. Um, I was taking boot camp. I literally took over a full wall of whiteboard uh, to create this illustration. I don't draw, I write. Let me just be clear about one thing there. So I did that. I also started a new blog called The Whiteboard. Uh, the Whiteboard is a project of the D School Fellows. It is where I love to write and figure out how to learn design thinking and how nine amazing individuals, including Anne, learned design thinking and brought it back to amazing organizations. Also, we should just shut up and listen. Ah, okay. That is a great thing to do because when you are talking to people and you're actually doing the work of design thinking, you should take a minute and really be quiet. Just listen to the person and ask why. Also helps if you can find a family that is capable of doing this. Um, the D School, we do crazy things. We do improv. We do just about everything that you can possibly imagine. I'm a theater major. I'm an international relations major uh, coming out of college. I did journalism, but now I realize this plays a part too. So if you're ever scared um, and it's too much, please come and find me. I'll be here for you with a Sharpie and some post-its. Thank you. Thank you.